Have you ever thought about how convenient it would be if there was a way to easily replicate a journal containing thousands of entries? Yes, that's possible through copy of uh, general functionality. This is Arvind Varaganti and you are watching Oracle EBS and Fusion Videos channel. Now let's get into the details. So this is the topic uh, which we'll be discussing uh, today, how to copy journals. And this is the navigation general accounting journals. Now let's get into Fusion. So under general accounting journals. So let me first search for an existing uh, journal and then I can show you how we can copy that journal. So go for manage journals, search for uh, any of the existing journals which you want to copy. So probably in this case, I just want to maybe uh, copy this one. So let me click on this hyperlink and open this particular journal. Okay, so this is a journal which has roughly around five or six lines, but in a real world environment, you might have a journal for say hundreds of lines, right? So in order to copy this, so click on batch actions and click on copy. So it's simple, like when you do a copy, it's ask, it asks you to enter the new general batch name. So probably I'll just say it has uh, populated with the auto-generated uh, general batch name. So I just want to get rid of that and I want to enter my own general batch name. So test batch for uh, auto copy and uh, in which period I want to enter this particular general. So the drop down shows all your uh, open uh, uh, and future interval periods. So I just want to enter the batch again in the same period for whatever may be the reason. And uh, accounting date, you can use the default sys date or you can use a, a different date. So I just want to use the default date and cl click on OK. Once you click on OK. OK, so click on OK. So once you click on OK, you can see the batch is already created and you can see the batch has the source of auto copy. So generally, whenever you enter uh, manual journals, the manual journals will have the source of manual. If you enter the journals via uh, spreadsheet upload, then that will have a source of spreadsheet. Similarly, the journals which are copied will have the source of auto copy. So again, these are also kind of a manual journal. So always it is important that uh, for this particular general source of auto copy, the journal upload should be enabled. Otherwise, everybody can uh, maybe just copy uh, an existing uh, approved journal and if this journal approval is not enabled for this then they can bypass the uh, what you call your approval rules right so it's always better and ensure that the source general source of autocopy should have the general approval enabled okay so this is the general which system has created if you want you can just edit this particular general by including the general lines or you can just directly uh, post this particular journal. Again, as this being a testing environment, in this environment, I have disabled the general approval functionality. So that's why I can directly post this particular journal. So once you click on post, you can see a process got triggered. And then maybe I can, here you can see the batch data is selected for posting. You can continue refreshing. And once the, yeah, you can see the badge is posted. So this is how you use the auto copy functionality to copy the journals. Again, you might say that, oh, there is also a way to uh, create or recreate the journals using a spreadsheet upload. Yeah, that's possible. But again, even for the spreadsheet upload, you, you need to bring up the template, uh, review the journal lines, amounts, et cetera, and click on upload button, wait the program to be completed. But if you do not want to make any changes to the journals, except your general batch name and accounting period, and you just want to use exactly the same numbers and the same uh, general lines as that of the existing journal, then probably you can use this uh, auto copy function. Again, there are different ways, and this is one of the way to copy a journal. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on Oracle Financials. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.